Good day all, welcome back to the Razor Mac channel. Today I've got a video for you in regards to the security of your vehicle. Now, as you know, lately the cars, new cars, has got a smart key system that allows you to open the car and also start the car without the key inserted to the slot of the car. Now, I'm going to show you how you can disable that function because as you know on these vehicles the people that are stealing your car they use a enhancer that's enhancing the signal of your remote while you are in the shop then they actually get access to your lovely car they can open the car with the the signal enhancer you busy doing your shopping and they are stealing your car when you get out your vehicle is gone now i'm going to show you what they are doing Now on your vehicle it is locked at the moment and as you can see what they are doing you busy shopping they just come with a signal and answer they open the door get in the vehicle as you see there is no key in the slot it's the push start they get in the vehicle and put foot on the brake start the car and they can drive away now and also switch it off so then they gone with your vehicle now i'm going to show you how to disable it with a diagnostic scan system that, that you connect onto your vehicle and we're using a laptop it's called the vcda system and let's go in and see what is the settings that you need to do. Then I'll show it to you again how it disabled that smart key function. Okay, now I'm inside my vehicle. Insert the key, switch on the ignition, don't start it. I've got the VCDS diagnostic tool plugged in. And let's see where you have to go to, to disable the smart key function. You go into the select control module. And from there you go, all the cars are basically the same. It might have either on the central electronics or it's on the ACC start you go into the ACC start then you will go into the coding because you want to change the coding of the car now you don't know at the moment what coding it is so you will have to go into the long coding helper now in the long coding helper it opens this window and here you will see at the bottom it's got selected advanced key installed. 
but I don't want the advanced key installed. It's changing the coding of the vehicle to this new coding here on top. It's the previous one. Okay, if we close here, it will change the coding. And as you see there, the previous coding was that 05B54. Now the new coding just changed the 5 to a 1, it's 01B54. Then after selecting that, then you do go to the do it and it's got coding accepted. Just click OK, close the controller and you can go back and exit your program. After that, let's test it now. We've got the key in, we can switch off the ignition, take your key out, then we'll have to get out the vehicle. Okay, you're outside the vehicle, you've got your remote with you, you can still lock it. Put the key aside, as you can see, you can't lock the vehicle, you can't open it with the, without the remote. So not the driver's door, not the passenger door, your vehicle is then locked. As you can see, I've got the key with me. It's not unlocking the vehicle. With the key, I can unlock it. And the vehicle's open, close it, you can't, you can't lock it without the remote, but with the remote it's locked. Now this, the key is still working for the push button, we'll just get in the vehicle, get in. At the moment I've got the key with me, close the door. As you can see, the key is with me there. We can step on the brake, press. It's not starting the vehicle. You have to physically put the key in to its slot. Then you can step on the brake, press, and the vehicle starts. So that is the way it can also, you can also shut down the vehicle with the stop start button and remove the key and without the key you cannot start the vehicle so I hope that this video helped you all uh, just to get the security of your car to make sure that nobody else will be able to take it another thing that you can do but it's not 100% secure is to also get one of these pouches it's made out of a type of a carbon fiber or something material but it's got an insert it's got like a foil material type of insert I'm not sure what it's called but you put your key inside there and you close it up and then they also cannot uh, enhance the signal of your remote but you might forget one day to put it back into the pouch and they can still access your car but with a diagnostic system as I showed you they cannot start the car without having the key physically inside the slot